In 1986, pages of a CIA training manual were found inside a surplus copy of purchased by an employee at Boeing Aircraft. The document detailed plans hatched in the early days of the Cold War to enslave the people of the United States. Through manipulation of information, industry, recreation, pastimes, education, and media, a war would be waged on the man. This government document was entitled Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. And just like I've told you for many, many years, you don't have to lie about things. You don't have to sensationalize them. You don't have to make anything up. You don't have to invent figures. The truth is bad enough. Conspiracy theories are nothing new to history. Plots to kill Caesar and overthrow Rome abounded, for instance. However, it is seldom that concrete clues to such plots come to light and are generally known. Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars, an introduction programming manual, was uncovered quite by accident on July 7, 1986, when an employee of a Boeing aircraft company purchased a surplus IBM copier for scrap parts at a sale, and discovered inside details of a plan hatched in the embryonic days of the Cold War, which called for control of the masses through manipulation of industry, peoples, pastimes, education, and political leanings to call for a quiet revolution putting brother against brother and diverting the public's attention from what is really going on. The document you are about to read is real. It is reprinted in its virgin form with diagrams as a touch of reality. Forward. This manuscript was delivered to our offices by an unknown person. We did not steal the document, nor are we involved with any theft from the United States government. And we did not get the document by way of any dishonest methods. We feel that we are not endangering the national security by reproducing this document. Quite the contrary, it has been authenticated and we feel that we are not only within our rights to publish it, but morally bound to do so. Top Secret Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars Operations Research Technical Manual TM-SW7905.1 Welcome aboard. This publication marks the 25th anniversary of the Third World War called the Quiet War, being conducted using subjective biological warfare fought with silent weapons. This book contains an introductory description of this war, its strategies, and its weaponry. May 1979, number 74-1120. It is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the automation of a society, i.e. the engineering of a social automation system's silence weapons on a national or worldwide scale without implying extensive objectives of social control and destruction of human life, i.e. slavery and genocide. This manual is in itself an analog declaration of intent. Such a writing must be secured from public scrutiny, otherwise it might be recognized as a technically formal declaration of domestic war. Furthermore, when any person or group of persons in a position of great power and without full knowledge and consent of the public uses such knowledge and methodologies for economic conquest, it must be understood that a state of domestic warfare exists between said person or group of persons and the public. qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human society with cold objectivity and yet analyze and discuss your observations and conclusions with others of similar intellectual capacity without the loss of discretion or humility. Such virtues are exercised in your own best interest. Do not deviate from them. So, so there's that. And that's good, I feel like. But 
I actually I actually told the Patreons earlier that there are have been many times that I would rather be super glued to a giant piece of saran wrap than have to talk about what I'm thinking and feeling right now about what we're being told is happening right now. It's been over eight years now of talking about what's happening and then getting so fed up with talking about what's happening that we started talking about what was going to happen. We did that for years. And now think about it like this. Let's say that you spent hours reading and researching about, I don't know, the, the magical return of a green rhinoceros. It's going to be this green rhinoceros. It's going to come. It's going to be insane when it gets here. It's going to change the way everybody lives their lives. And, and let's say that you knew about this because you had done so much research and so much reading and you'd informed yourself. And let's say you started telling people about that. In every way you could think of, you started trying to tell people about that. And maybe you got some of the details wrong, you know, but you just, you could see that there was a pattern emerging and there were some pretty distinct things that were going to be happening as a result of this pattern in regards to this green rhinoceros. And let's say you decided to dedicate your life, okay, all of your time to trying to tell people, not just about the green rhinoceros that's coming, but about the whole history of why this is going to be a life-changing, crazy thing that's about to happen to people in every way you could think of for years, okay? When the green rhinoceros finally shows up and starts trotting down the street, what else is there to say? Like, you said it. You said it. You've been saying it for eight years. You've made movies about the green rhinoceros coming. You have sang songs about it. But you know, you know what I'm saying? When the green rhinoceros actually shows up and starts walking around, <laughs> what are you supposed to do then? Go, hey, everyone. <laughs> Look, it's the green freaking rhinoceros that I've been telling you about. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? I mean... <laughs> People, I'm not even sure if people fully want to know exactly what it is that I'm thinking. And honestly, the wisest thing you can do sometimes is not talk. The wisest thing that you can do sometimes is just to sit back and listen. Historical introduction. Silent weapon technology has evolved from operational research, a strategic and tactical methodology developed under the military management in England during World War II. The original purpose of operations research was to, to study the strategic and tactical problems of air and land defense with the objective of effective use of limited military resources against foreign enemies, i.e. logistics. It was soon recognized by those in positions of power that the same methods might be useful for totally controlling a society but better tools were necessary. Social engineering, the analysis and automation of society, requires the correlation of great amounts of constantly changing economic information, or data. So a high-speed computerized data processing system was necessary, which could race ahead of the society and predict when society would arrive for capitulation. Just this week, somebody told me that something they saw on TV deeply affected them. That was a phrase they used. They were deeply affected. It wasn't something that actually happened physically to them in the actual reality they walk around and breathe in. It was just something that happened on a screen that they simply saw and heard about. The television screen is the retina of the mind's eye. Therefore, the television screen is part of the physical structure of the brain. I mean, it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it because I think it needs to be blatantly stated that if they hadn't seen that, that thing on the screen, they wouldn't have been deeply affected by it. It wouldn't even have been part of their actual reality. They would not have experienced it. 